What is going on, Radar Force? Today on this product review, we are reviewing one of the most exciting things I have ever reviewed on this channel. What is in front of your eyeballs is debatably some of the hardest to find Dragon Ball home video, home media ever. Uh, especially the edited version. Uh, I try to get all my VHS's sealed, as you can tell in the uncut. All of them are sealed. The edited are so hard to find, I've only managed to get three sealed, and that's insane enough. Uh, I've been talking about these a lot recently. I'm not sure when this video is going to go up, but yes, we are covering the Fortune Teller Baba Saga on VHS, uncut and edited versions. Uh, I am very excited to film this one because I am a VHS I am a Dragon Ball VHS fanatic. Uh, if it wasn't for the VHSs, my collection wouldn't be where it's at. I would have never wanted to get all Dragon Ball media ever released in North America. So I owe it all to the VHS, and I got addicted to the VHSs, and mainly because of the spine work, uh, artwork. It's amazing. And little did I know how difficult getting all the VHSs would be. And I, it's a pleasure uh, to be filming this video for the sake of the internet so I can document everything I own just in case somehow or another I lose them uh, and I am very pumped to be doing this so anyways um, on the left we have the uncut on the right we have the edited uh, if you don't know anything about VHS's uncut versions are slightly easier to get uh, nine times out of ten the edited are usually harder to find than the uncut now that's not true and everywhere but it is for the most part correct uh nine times out of ten i would say so anyways we're going to get into this we're going to start with the uh uncut baba saga first okay here we have the uncut fortune teller baba saga on vhs uh fortune teller baba saga is a five tape saga um and this is the uncut version uh on the left we have Five Warriors, Yamcha's Fall, Surprise Reunion, The Seventh Dragon Ball, and Goku's Journey. So we're going to get into each VHS now. Here is Five Warriors, uncut, in the Fortune Teller Baba Saga, first tape of the uh, saga. Um, when I started collecting, uh, I wasn't sure of... The artwork of the uncut one. Now, it didn't take long to figure it out, but the edited, I had no clue what it made. And I only know two people, including, that actually completed the edited artwork. Edited artwork. Here's the back. And as you can see down here, it says not rated, contains some violence and brief, uh, brief nudity. That means it's the uncut version, if you can't tell from right here, by the UPC uh, on the top. And other things say it as well. Uh, the edited on uh, Dragon Ball VHSs do not show um, an uncut symbol. It j there's only a few ways to determine if it's edited or not, which we'll get to here. Uh, next tape, we have Yamcha's Fall, personally one of my favorite artworks. Uh, and all uncut versions will have a sticker on it, unless, of course, it peeled off. But if you have a good condition one, if it's sealed, of course. You have to follow and cut. And the spine here. And the back, if you want to see the episode list. And of course, we have the spine. Next, we have Surprise Reunion. Possibly one of the hardest uncut VHS tapes to get factory sealed. It took me and my buddy forever to get them sealed. Uh, personally, me, the the last one I got was West City Chase from the Red Ribbon Army Saga sealed. That one's super hard, too. These are the two debatable, debatably hardest ones to get uncut now. Edited, it's, it's a whole other factor. We're not even going to talk about that. And the episode list. And the, the VHS, man, they just have... It's just... It's really what got me where I'm at today. And I tell people if it wasn't for me jumping on the VHSs first, I would not have a complete collection or going to have a complete collection because the VHSs, I know a few collectors out there that they're struggling on the VHSs, 
because they didn't start on them until recently, and they're just missing a whole lot, which you just can't find them anymore, or at least, you know, the hard ones are impossible. Uh, here we have Fortune of Baba, the seventh Dragon Ball uncut. And here's the spine art for the Baba Saga. Uncut. And last but not least, we have Goku's Journey, the next hardest one to get of this saga in the uncut, especially sealed. Uh, me and my buddy, uh, we started collecting, uh, we went for used VHS tapes, and then we wanted to do a completely sealed VHS collection, and to this date I'm only missing a handful, around 10 th uh, VHS tapes I do not have sealed. Um... I'm not even. I don't even. I'm not even. I don't even care anymore if I don't get those sealed. I'm just glad I have them all. To have what I have sealed is already a testament to my collection, anyways. And here's the back. And the top. And the spine here. And that is it for the uncut saga. Now we're gonna go to the freaking mythical set of the edited Baba Saga. All right, and here we have the elusive Dragon Ball Fortune Teller Baba edited VHS um, complete five-tape saga. Um, this is one of the most sought-after VHS tape sagas, mainly because they are so hard to find and the image spine art is beautiful. Um, when I started collecting, I got one of these by pure accident, and I had no idea what the image completed looked like. I looked up online. There was nothing to even tell you what it would become to look like. It was insane. And then, lo and behold, I found uh, three more, and I was able to get the last four tapes. I was missing the first tape for seven years. It took me seven years to complete this saga. That's how hard these tapes are. But that's besides the point. Uh, this is the edited saga, and it's an absolute beast to have. Uh, if you own one of these tapes, I congratulate you, and you are awesome, and I'm sure you're excited as well that you own one. These tapes are so mythical and extinct that owning one is just a treat in itself. Anyways, we're going to get started with the first tape, which is Five Warriors, which is the, the uh, one that took me seven years to get. Uh, here we have, now, Five Warriors. This is the same tape as the uncut, except the uncut versions, if you don't know anything about VHSs, have the uncut beside it. And obviously the spine art's different on the uncut as well, but that's besides the point. Uh, the tapes are the same, the text just doesn't have uncut. Uh, here is the side. Also, the UPC code is different on all these, and earlier I mentioned the not rated... Um, Contains brief nudity. On the edited ones, it says not rated, edited for television. Also, the runtime is slightly lower than the uncut counterparts, obviously. Uh, and every text that says uncut is now erased, obviously. And here we have the spine, of course. The beautiful blue spine. Now on to Yamcha's Fall. Here we have the cover. This tape was actually my fourth... Uh, edited Baba tape that I acquired uh, in in the order that I got them. I got it on a random lot on eBay. And this spine. So basically I was staring at this tape all the way to the fourth, fifth one for six years before I found uh, the first tape. Crazy. Uh, the uh, Surprise Reunion is the next one in line. I actually got this one, this tape second my, this is my second edited Baba tape I got in the order that I acquired them. Got this one off Amazon from a freaking music seller. He sold a lot of music tracks, and somehow he had this. Pretty bizarre, man. And the edited, I mean, and the back. And, of course, the amazing spine or artwork. And here we have the seventh Dragon Ball. This was the third tape that I acquired uh, in my chronological order of getting them. A 
lot of history behind these tapes with me, man. Insane that I even have them all. And then the super amazing spine art. And last but not least, probably the second rarest tape in this saga, Goku's Journey. This was the first tape that I got. Actually, my first edited Dragon Ball tape that I got. Well, edited mythical tape, that I call it. Um, right here. I got this from... This was on Amazon as well for $6. It was an ex-rental at the time, which a lot of rental places only rented out uh, edited VHSs for some reason. Uh, the seller had two in stock as well, and my buddy grabbed one as well. So, pretty lucky on that front. I didn't know what I had at the time I just I wanted the uncut version and I got the edited and I was sad when I got this one but needless to say now I am not sad I am pumped and the spine and that is it for the Dragon Ball edited fortune teller Baba saga so so that is it for the fortune teller Baba VHS uncut and edited counterparts uh, for this product review these sagas are one of my favorite VHS sagas to cover just mainly because of the sheer rarity and how hard both versions are to get. Uh, if you have the uncut version, give yourself a round of applause. If you have any of the edited versions, uh, jump up for joy. You're, you're a mythical boy. Uh, it's, it's insane. Uncut is hard enough to get. The edited is multiply getting the uncut by 10 times. That's how hard it is to get at least one of those uh, five tapes on the edited side. Uh, and if you don't believe me, try to find them yourself. It's insane. And uh, it's going to cost you an arm and a leg to get them, if unless you just stumble across them luckily. Uh, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next Dragon Ball video. Uh, until then, guys, take care, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.